Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just sent nasty Kathy Griffin into sobbing fit after profanity-laced insult of Melania. It seems attention-seeking has been pseudo comedian Kathy Griffin has now stooped to plagiarizing fellow Trump-hating comedian Samantha Bee in her effort to revive her career. In a truly classless and cringe-worthy moment, Griffin attacked First Lady Melania Trump in a profanity-laced Twitter tirade about immigration. The tweet personally attacks Melania by calling her a feckless complicit piece of shit. Sound familiar? Apparently, neither comedy nor creativity is Griffin's strong suit. Griffin's Twitter tirade was prompted by a statement issued by Melania via her spokesperson Stephanie Grisham. The statement simply had the Slovenian-born former model asking Congress to work together to end the legal loophole in immigration law that prevents child border crossers from remaining with their parents in federal detention after illegally crossing into the United States. Grisham stated to Fox News, Mrs. Trump hates to see children separated from their families and hopes both sides of the aisle can finally come together to achieve successful immigration reform. Simple right? Well, apparently not if you are Kathy Griffin. Griffin tweeted her enraged meltdown for all to see, stating, Fuck you, Melanie. You know damn well your husband can end this immediately, you feckless complicit piece of shit. She apparently does not even know the name of the first lady? You know since her name is Melania, not Melanie. Then there is the pesky fact that this policy was signed into legislation under George W. Bush and enacted under the Obama administration. According to The New York Times in an article dated July 7, 2014, even the left-leaning mainstream media publication admits the Trump administration is addressing an issue they inherited from previous administrations. The Neat reports Dash. It was one of the final pieces of legislation signed into law by President George W. Bush, a measure that passed without controversy, along with a pension bill and another one calling for national parks to be commemorated on quarters. This is a piece of legislation we're very proud to sign. A White House spokesman, Tony Fratto, told reporters on December 23, 2008, as the president put his pen to the William Wilberforce Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act of 2008, named for a 19th-century British abolitionist. This program has been very effective around the world in trying to stop trafficking in persons. Now the legislation, enacted quietly during the transition to the Obama administration, is at the root of the potentially calamitous flow of unaccompanied minors to the nation's southern border. Fun fact for Kathy Griffin and other leftist progressive open borders supporters that they are completely missing, Obama actually deported more people than any president in history and reached a record number, 97,000, of criminal prosecutions in 2013 for illegal border crossings. Look at this graph below, which proves unaccompanied alien children, UAC, under Obama grew out of control in 2014. The so-called cages or the chain-link partitions in the holding facilities at the border are the exact same ones present during the Obama administration. Where was Griffin's outrage then? Why was she not taking to Twitter to curse it and personally attack former First Lady Michelle Obama? Griffin is so very outraged about President Trump's use of detention facilities that she failed to even notice they were the same in use during 2014 as Brandon Darby of Breitbart noted. Manuel Padilla sat down with Gail King of CBS this morning. Padilla is the man running the Customs and Border Patrol sector that accounts for the most illegal crossings and detentions and he had some interesting things to say about the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy. Padilla patiently stated why he supports the current policies being enacted by the Trump administration, calling the flood of children separated from their parents a consequence of a refusal to enforce border laws in the past. That refusal set up a series of perverse incentives to smuggle children across the border with the expected perverse outcomes, including one MS-13 gang member who thought a one-year-old was a get-out-of-jail-free card. Then there is the fact that illegal aliens are posing with children that are not their own in increasing numbers in an effort to gain expedited entry into the United States. Law enforcement reports of increasing numbers of family units consisting of adult males with children of varying ages. When law enforcement attempts to debrief many of these adult males with children, they often cannot answer even the most basic of questions about their children. Basic questions any parent would and should know about their child, their birthday, full name, last known address, and more. The children also rarely appear to know details of their apparent fathers. These frequently occurring situations cast significant doubt on the asylum claims that many of the illegal aliens attempt to parrot. Law enforcement believes that many of these individuals are actively attempting to evade authorities instead. Once detained with the credible threat of being returned home from whence they came, most parrot the same phrasing in the same scripted manner. 
The scripted manner of the answers indicates to law enforcement and immigration authorities that these illegal aliens have been coached by human traffickers instead. Where is Griffin's outrage over children being trafficked and essentially enslaved? Where is the Twitter tirade? When is Griffin going to use any portion of her $20 million net worth to assist in addressing the situation? Or is she just going to sit in her mansion and sulk about the career she ruined with her tasteless, tactless, classless antics, counting her millions and ranting with her manufactured outrage instead of addressing the actual facts of the situation? I guess it is easier to call names than to actually be part of the solution. They say people who say it cannot be done should get out of the way of those that are doing it. It seems Griffin should take the old adage to heart. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.